Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. A Madden Mobile video. It's been a while. So I've been out of the game for a little bit. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm cleaning my room and doing my sheets right now. It's a mess. I have been out of the game for a while. I haven't been keeping up too much with Mad Mobile news. I obviously haven't played Mad Mobile 18 in like six months or something. But just as anybody else, I'm still really excited for the new season. And apparently they're doing a bunch of crazy new stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna compile like everything we know as of right now about Mad Mobile 19. I'll give you guys my opinion. And then of course, if you remember last year, leading up to the release of Mad Mobile 18, I did a huge live stream, like just waiting for it to update. And then as soon as it updated, I like played through the first like 30 minutes. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm at Mobile 19. Now, before I go any further, guys, I wanna give a huge shout out to Poker Stars for sponsoring today's video. Poker Stars is the best poker app on the app store right now. And on top of that, it's completely free. Now, what I love about this game is I can get my poker fix in without putting in any real money. Now, I myself, I'm a huge poker fan, so this is the perfect app for me. But if you're somebody who's never played poker before, it actually goes through and teaches you exactly how to play Texas Hold'em. So it's perfect for beginners too. Just earlier, I actually won a tournament, so I have a ton of chips to use in the game right now. Oh, 6-7 student, there's a 6-7 on the board. Okay, this is really solid, but I'm scared someone might get a straight, so we'll see. Queen, we're good, no one's gonna get a straight for now. I'm gonna raise him 2400, see if he pulls. Yes, let's go, all right. Easy win right there, that was solid. So I've been playing a lot, I'm already on level 18, and I want you guys to come and play with me. So that's it for now, again, PokerStars, thank you for sponsoring this video. Guys, you have to get this app if you're interested in learning or playing poker on your phone. Download link is right in the top of the description. So the number one thing that I do know about Mad Mobile 19 is it has some wicked new graphics. I'm gonna be honest, I've been asking for this for three years, so I'm not that pumped, but I am pumped to see it. So as of right now, the Game Changers program did a video with QJB, I kinda figured, Noob Kill, I kinda figured, and there's one other dude who I've never heard of, but I haven't really paying attention to Mad Mobile, so good for him. We're gonna watch QJB's gameplay video right now. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk about what it looks like, and we'll go off of that. That is an incredible improvement. They actually have faces. When's the last time you actually saw a face on someone in Madden Mobile? I want to see Hail Mary. I think he's going to throw this one deep. Yup, he's throwing it deep. He does catch it and he gets tackled as soon as he catches it. This looks really, I am actually really pumped. This looks super nice. The one thing I do wonder is if it'll be the same um, type of gameplay. You know on Madden Mobile, you always break the first tackle pretty much. Like unless you're playing on the hardest difficulty, whenever you truck, you break the tackle. I wonder if it'll be like that or if it'll be more like it's a 50-50. Now I will make a mention of the Madden Overdrive trailer. For one, they're not calling it Madden Mobile 19. So I have to remember to not call it that. It's Madden Overdrive. I don't know why, but I mean, it'll change the title of my YouTube videos, I guess, so it's kind of important. I'll definitely post a little bit of it, depending on how fun it is, but for the most part, I'm gonna stick with the same videos I usually do. Now, aside from that, I wanna go over all the stuff they talked about on their Twitter. Their Twitter is called EA Madden Mobile. That's their at, and that's not even the name of their game anymore, so I think that's kind of funny, but I'm gonna check this out. So first thing I have on here is a forum to the new Madden the Madden coaches in Madden NFL Overdrive, they've got some screenshots here. I'm be totally honest. I'ma keep it real with you, Chief. Ain't nobody giving a shit. I'm, that's my personal opinion on it. If you guys care about coach tactics, go ahead. Like the coach tactics things is whack. Defensive and offensive game plans is whack. All this bullshit's whack. Let me go down there and Randy Moss somebody, let me trucks through some kid, and then let me collect some really cool cards while doing it. Phone app done. A dead ass. I'm gonna skip this entire article about coaches because I don't care. Actually, I'll read a paragraph just to explain my point a little bit better. As you play, you'll notice a meter at the bottom of the screen filling up white nodes. As that meter fills up, you will unlock tactical choices on the play call screen. Each tactic costs a different amount based on its ability to improve your chances to win a game. Tactics are broken up into three different categories. I don't give a fuck. This is bullshit. This is way over the top. Those are the three categories. You see what I mean? I mean, it's up. To, it's really not. It's, I'm, I don't speak for everybody. I don't think. But in my personal opinion, who gives a shit? Why are you wasting time on this? I mean, like, do you really think I'm gonna fucking learn this shit, dude? Whatever. I will say this has some relevance. In Madden Overdrive, each coach has a special play that unlock as you level up the coach. I can tell you what's gonna happen with this. There's gonna be one play from one of the coaches that's really, really, really good. And then someone's gonna come out with a YouTube video or a tweet about it. It's gonna get popular, and then pretty much everyone's gonna have that same coach. Nothing wrong with that, though. I mean, as long as everyone has the same advantage, that's fine. Number one big question I bet people are gonna ask is if you can play live player to player. That would be so sick. 
you still can't do it. Even with the updated graphics, I kind of figured they would do it, but they're not gonna let you. Head to head in Madden Overdrive is three minutes of real time. You will see your opponent's score and results update on your screen as they play, usually within a couple of seconds, allowing you to adjust with tactics to slow them down as quickly as possible. I find that interesting. I don't know why they haven't figured that out yet. It would be a huge addition. I can't complain too much. They actually made big strides this year. All the previous years, they must have been jacking off so much because there's virtually been no difference between Madden Mobile 15 all the way up to Madden Mobile 18. Will there be any abilities to call audibles? Their response was not at launch, though it's a feature we really want to get in this year. I think that means it's not coming this year, boys. There are currently no plans for game plans or counters in any mode in Madden Overdrive. Praise the Lord. Counters was bullshit. Game plan was bullshit. Very nice to hear. Good job, Madden Mobile. Appreciate y'all. The legacy gameplay issues from past seasons of Madden Mobile, such as wide receiver drops, right tackle blocking, and defensive AI have been overhauled. You also now have the ability to better address gameplay concerns and client updates. This is good. But it looks like that's all we've got as far as information for now. That's actually a lot more stuff than I expected to get. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how the new AI plays. I really like how the gameplay looks. I will say those two things. Bigger thing for me though, this might be personal, is PAX. They've given no information on PAX. I don't even know if there's fucking PAX, like at all. Isn't that kind of sketchy to think about? I gotta assume there is because they were playing with like custom players. They are playing with like, he had Antonio Brown on the Saints. So I have to assume there's packs in some ways to get stuff, but it would just be so nice. Dude, in Madden Mobile 15, I'm sorry I reference this so much, but you could pull any legend player from any release at any time in any pack. It was the coolest thing in the world. You'd be opening a pro pack nine months after like Jonathan Ogden right tackle came out. I remember pulling the 92 overall purple Jonathan Ogden in a pro pack like eight months after he came out. It was so cool. This year, like I can't even, if I logged into Madden Mobile right now to open a pack, like they would all cost Madden cash for one. And for two, they would have like a pack limit. And for three, I couldn't pull legend. I couldn't pull anything in it. It would be fucking a bunch of base elites. That's all I had to say about that quick ran over. Really excited to see how it works out. Definitely stay tuned for that live stream. And that's it. Thanks for watching as always, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out. Dab. Dab, dab, dab.